Okay, we are on day 20 of the upper second level. Um, just getting some of the worms off the top here. Take me a second. The uh, whole system has been going for about 70 days. And this is gonna be the fourth feeding. Sorry, you gotta look at top of the bin. It's gonna be the fourth feeding of the uh, tray number two that's here. Now, in between feedings, I I checked inside. Um, just looked like more and more were getting on the lid than I'm usually seeing, so I thought maybe something was an issue, and I think what it was happening is it's just getting too moist in there. I was, I've been going multiple days without lifting up the lid, um, and I think because I'm on the second tier and the food is just, I haven't been putting bedding in, although there's bedding in there, the food is just um, kind of leaching its liquid and going down to the second layer and, um, and then actually putting a little bit of liquid on inside the basin that's at the base of this vermi hut. Um, I didn't get any pictures, I should have, or some video, but maybe I'll do that in another video. Um, and this is where we fed right here and I forgot my glove. So yeah, feeding right here. I'm also noticing very, very tiny insects. I mean, I see some mites, but then even smaller than that. Most of the white that you see here is um, just crushed up eggshells. But like right here, I feel like there's some mites, just regular mites on this piece. And then uh, even smaller than that, some other kind of insects. So yeah, right here, and they're faster moving than mites. I can't even, won't even be able to get them on the camera, but let's go ahead and dig up previous feeding. Now I had dug up the previous feeding, so I don't expect, a couple of days ago, so I don't expect huge amounts of worm balls, but certainly you can see all kinds of worms in there. Um, here's a piece of banana. But yeah, I just dig through just, I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of worms. Trying to do this without dropping any out. The bin definitely seems to be happy. Um, the one thing is we fed it seven days ago and there is like no sign of any food. Um, so I definitely want to, um, I see some of this with my red wigglers. It's kind of one side looks yellow. I'm not sure what that is. Anybody wants to let me know. Um, but anyway, food totally gone and we gave a big feeding. So we're going to give an even bigger feeding. And I think too, what we're going to do is, um, Put a little bit of bedding down. That's not a really good showing. Put a little bit of bedding down to um, to absorb some of the moisture. All right. Yeah. There's there's just none of. I mean, absolutely nothing distinguishable as far as food goes. There are definitely more in this area. So. There's remnants, juice, something. Um, and I'm seeing the, you know, I think some of this bedding break down. Which is good, because ultimately we want it all to be castings. Yeah, this is... I just find that so fascinating why they're all moving around like that. I love digging in here. So I'm just gonna move these. Now again, I started with 2,000 worms about 70 days ago. If that helps anybody understand the population or that kind of thing. I dropped a couple on the ground, so I need to get those real quick. 
Um, yeah, so 2000, a little over two months ago. I'll just dig through here, see what we got going. Just a lot of, a lot of worms. You can see them all just absolutely moving around. So we're gonna feed right along here. And um, they're gonna get a bunch of apple cores and they're gonna get a bunch of the um, green feeding that we, uh, this is a peach seed, I don't even know why it's in here. It's never gonna break down in the time that I'd be patient enough for it. But um, yeah, they're gonna get a lot of green broccoli, juiced broccoli, the fibers that come out the, the back of it, in the back of the juicer, the extract. And I am going to lay down just a little bit of bedding to absorb some of the um, just the juices that come from the food. That bone dry bedding should help absorb some of it. And this is just um, shredded Amazon boxes. The worms seem to love it. So now we'll put down the food. And again, it's just a bunch of apple cores and the ejected part of our juicing. Um, and it's got berries in there and, you know, whatever's fresh we try to put in there. I have been putting pineapple and I'm going to continue to do that, but I'm not going to put it in this indoor bin, my outdoor bin takes forever with the pineapple and I've heard things about it being too acidic and that kind of thing. Um, and I just want to keep it simple here, but I am going to give a lot and they absolutely go bonkers over this, this green fibery part that comes out the back of the, uh, the juicer. And I freeze it, so it comes out, it, you know, it's in these tiny fibers and then it gets frozen and then thawed out a little bit. Um, so it is, you know, in, in a day it's as mushy as can be, which is probably why they go after it so quickly. But I am really gonna fill up here bigger than I ever have before because every time I feed them, they consume it. I mean, Especially with this small stuff, I don't see a lick of it. Now, it's probably getting darker as it's decaying and all that kind of stuff, but but they really just absolutely go through it. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of coffee grounds. Again, just coffee grounds and tea. more of the um, eggshell powdered grit and I kind of like this too it helps in their digestion because they have gizzards but also I like to watch the little specks go around the bin after I check on it you can see more specks on the top so now I'm just gonna bury it and it's definitely gonna be mounded right here I don't know if you can see depth on the, um, with the camera there, but it's definitely gonna be high right here. And then as the days progress, it will sink down as they eat all this good food that they have here. It's really high. <laughs> Gotta make sure I can get the lid on. Oh, that's a bunch of worms. Oh, they're eating a strawberry top right there. They are all in that strawberry top. So let's why don't we just bury that in there and I can keep eating on that strawberry top. So if you if you like watching me go through these bins and I try and take you every feeding 
um, so you can kind of see the progression. I appreciate uh, hitting the like button, giving me the thumbs up. Um, I will put the indicator right there, but I think we're definitely gonna be able to know where we fed just because of the massive mound right here. I have a lot of food on my fingers. But anyway, I appreciate a, a like if you like what you're seeing. And I'm just gonna put this piece of newspaper back on and that should about do it for this fourth feeding of the second level of my vermi hut. All right, everybody, take care.